Defending against incoming ballistic missiles necessitates a comprehensive and integrated approach that encompasses surveillance, aerial attacks, and ultimately ground-based interceptors. When it comes to safeguarding bases, THAAD play a crucial role. This task poses a complex tactical challenge, as ballistic missiles can target forward operating bases, concentrations of forces, as well as ammunition and supply depots. Defensive measures are intricate due to the fact that despite ballistic missiles generally following a predictable trajectory similar to a parabola, intercepting them in time can be a daunting task even if they are detected. The most perilous missiles are those equipped with precision guidance, unlike Iraq's Scud missiles that were launched during the Gulf War, which lacked such capabilities. It was these Scud missile attacks that served as an impetus for the development of THAAD, also known as Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. THAAD is a ground-based missile system designed to engage and intercept incoming missiles. It accomplishes this by closely tracking the flight path of the target missile, and deploying a high-speed kinetic energy interceptor. This interceptor, relying solely on its tremendous velocity and impact, is capable of disabling or destroying the incoming missile without the need for an explosive detonation. Kinetic Trajectory The approach employed is known as Hit to Kill, which relies on the force of impact to achieve the desired effect on the battlefield without utilizing a warhead. THAAD intercepts take place during the terminal phase of a missile's flight, which refers to the portion when the missile re-enters the Earth's atmosphere or descends from lower altitudes toward its intended targets. It should be noted that while many ballistic missiles remain within the Earth's atmosphere throughout their entire trajectory, certain weapons like ICBMs descend from space and transition through the mid-course phase before re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth's atmospheric boundary is approximately 60 miles above its surface. Considering this, THAAD's range of 120 miles and flight ceiling of 93 miles makes it highly suitable for detecting and intercepting missiles during their re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere from space. Initially established as an Army program in 2008, THAAD has undergone a transition to the Missile Defense Agency. Presently. It provides defense capabilities to countries such as Israel, Romania, the United Arab Emirates, and South Korea. In recent years, Lockheed, the developer of THAAD, has been working on an enhanced variant known as Extended Range, ER. This upgraded version is specifically designed to counter advanced enemy attacks, including hypersonic weapons. With the introduction of THAAD ER, it is expected that the system could effectively counter a rudimentary hypersonic weapon within a few years. Additionally, the Pentagon is exploring the potential of laser weapons and railguns as alternative methods for defending against hypersonic attacks, as reported by Aviation Week. THAAD and the Challenge of Hypersonic Threats It is highly challenging to defend against hypersonic attacks using an interceptor like THAAD due to the rapid speed at which these attacking hypersonic missiles shift from one radar coverage area or field of regard to another. In recent years, the Pentagon has dedicated significant efforts to develop techniques for achieving a continuous target track on hypersonic missiles that travel at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound. One approach being explored involves leveraging medium to low Earth orbit satellites, which can be positioned at lower altitudes to create a network of interconnected nodes in space, enabling data sharing and enhancing the ability to track hypersonic missiles. If the networking capabilities can provide fast and continuous tracking of hypersonic missiles through high fidelity sensors and efficient data transmission, it may become possible to intercept such weapons. However, THAAD's effectiveness as an interceptor is doubtful unless it can achieve substantially greater speed and advancements in target tracking technology to keep up with hypersonic attacks.